drag is happening because I'm asking the airplane to move. All right, that, that's happening from that. My induced drag is occurring because I'm wanting to create lift. So if I'm rolling down the runway, for instance, I could be assuming we could do this at 200 knots or whatever, uh, and I wasn't taking up, that would all be parasite drag. And then the moment that I rotate the airplane with the view of taking off, then I start to create lift. And it's then, at that moment, that the parasite drag starts to occur. And it's occurring because I'm creating vortexes on the wing, I'm creating vortexes along the back, I'm uh, creating spanwise flow, I'm shifting the um, resultant that we looked at. When we looked at aerofoils, I'm shifting the resultant backwards, so it's tipping back as I do that, and that increases the drag along with it. So, Induced drag is about asking for lift, okay? So it's the price that we pay for having lift. You know, lift's not going to come for no reason, um, and we have to pay to get that lift. So that shows itself to us in drag. Okay, so we'll look at parasite drag first, and we can break the parasite drag into three components. So I've got form drag, friction drag, and interference drag. So they're all to do with just asking the airplane